This is the fourth video in the series of this bus that couldn't make it up the hill as we're tearing into this Detroit Diesel 671. Uh, we'll, you can, I'll put links to the first three videos on there. Now that we're starting to get everything cleaned up good on here, it does still look like something was happening in some other places, but it looks like the real big culprit was cylinder number four because we have all this carbon buildup still under there. It's totally stained black there and then this way. And I think this was blown into this little area around this ring, and that's why this was so black back there. So this one might not have been bad. And this, this is the three cylinders that weren't smoking bad. These were the three cylinders that were smoking bad. But definitely this is where the big problem was at. And I think it was blasting exhaust gases that way, and then it was getting in that groove around the ring, and then it was coming out the back that way. But it was always the exhaust gases from this hole. Um, that's my assumption that I'm going to go with right now, just by... Judging by how we've initially cleaned things with brake clean here, haven't scrubbed yet, and there's so much black soot and everything built up of carbon just on this one cylinder here. So I'm gonna look real close at the top of this and see if there's not a crack in the liner at the top or something too. Look at it real close, but I think this was the big problem here, which is good news then. And we're gonna put a straight edge on it once we get it all cleaned up and make sure that it's flat every which way too. Okay, this is cylinder number four. We're going to pull the piston out of here. It doesn't want to come out. <laughs> Holy cow. Um, okay, let's put it down on the floor. And then you can step on the sides of it. Get to catch those little lips on the front of it with your shoes. There we go. Okay, set that up here on top of the... Let's see how scored up that liner is. So looking at the piston rings. That one's missing a chunk. Wonder where that went. That's a bit excessive for a ring gap. <laughs> so 
this is the cylinder where there was soot all at the top and it was blasting out the from the ring. Um, it had a broken ring on it. And then this ring, look how big that gap is. So it's missing the end of it, a big chunk. The ring gap's only supposed to be like that. It's like an inch and a half. <laughs> but you can see all the soot on the top of the piston. Obviously this one was doing nothing. This one was broken. And then the compression wasn't happening until way down here. Can you imagine how low that compression would be? That's where the piston marked it all up. You're gonna have to run around the outside edge of it with a scraper or something to get all that carbon. Because it ain't gonna want to come out of that hole. Maybe you'd have to get a scotch brite pad in there and start going around with a scotch brite to get that carbon release. All right, let me trade you sides because the light. <laughs> Definitely cooked in there. Mm -hmm. Just keep looking it around. Yeah. Okay. okay, we're gonna remove these head studs on here and go to bolts because on the 4104, when we bring the head in to clear the height of those coming in and down, we just don't have the room here. It's so much harder. So we're gonna go with head bolts. We're gonna double nut these real quick. Big ratcheting wrench there. What is that? 13 sixteenths? 15? 15 sixteenths. Jam the two nuts together. Got the machine is straight edge on there and there's there is no gap anywhere in there and we can even put the light as hold the light behind it there and you can see the where it touches the flat surfaces there's no light coming through so it's it's straight that's good
It shouldn't if the jack stand's holding the body. You have that wood under there, or you need it to go lower to get the bag out? There's a lot of crap on the outside of the pan, too. There to stay. Peeling off the gasket here. I just happened to see. What is that? Hmm. I see more of it. I don't know. Something to do with that little, little thing we found. <laughs> After I said there was nothing in the oil pan, there's all kinds of spoons. So that all came out of the oil pan. I'm thinking maybe that's the spring that goes inside of a seal. Like a rear main seal spring or something. I don't know if that big it's not that big. It looks big compared to the thing. Couple pieces of plastic in there too. But yeah, just for scale. It's very tiny stuff, but. So initially I thought there was nothing in here except for some Permatex, because I was feeling all these big chunks of Permatex. These, there's a bunch of them and they're pretty large, but they're not metal. But then I started seeing that little spring thing in there. Go ahead and stick a magnet in there. Just running around in the oil. Just run it everywhere. I know like you're trying to fish the magnet fishing. I see a couple pieces like that in there. A little closer to the drain flow. Oh, yeah, I got some more. Looks like it's mostly just that spring stuff though, right? Mm hmm All right, well, we got all of our parts in from Diesel Pro Power, the rebuild kit and everything. We're getting ready to start assembling all the kits. We'll get everything, uh, liners fit and everything put in the engine in the next couple days. the holler through the trees and from a mile away you can hear them play as they climb that hill with ease but at the top of that mountain there's a new life waiting for those who can make the run they can make it to the top sky they'll put them in the shop till their new life has begun Where the buses come to run Bus Grease Mountain We're gonna get that big job done 